Okay, so I'm gonna swap drums back and forth between the car and the trailer. The trailer has tight wheel bearings, no slop. And the car, it's all jacked up. You can probably hear it. Same with the other side. Doesn't sound too bad turning it, but lots of slop as opposed to the trailer. There's no brakes in here at all anymore. But they're good and tight. Like you don't get any wobble at all with this thing. Okay, so this is the car wheels off, but you can actually still hear the play. The trailer one is tight. Okay, so here's the car with it off. I haven't cleaned anything up. But that's how it looks. Lots of grease. It doesn't look too bad in there. And then the trailer, same thing, looks about the same. Obviously I have stripped the brakes out. Okay, so I've got the car drum on the trailer um, and vice versa. I've torqued the center nut down on both to 75 foot pounds, put the wheels back on. Whatever the issue is, is in the uh, brake drum itself because not the spindle and you can see it now that I've got the one for the car on the trailer you can feel and, and hear the uh, play in there and then the one from the car I had to clean out the drum from the rust because I haven't ran brake shoes in those drums in, in years but um, it's good and tight I can't move anything it is uh, there's no play at all in there so so whatever it is is going to be in the the drum I haven't ripped it apart yet but I am starting to wonder now there's a spacer that sits in between the two bearings um, the hub carrier spacer I guess they call it I'm starting to wonder whether or not that's uh, worn down or something's funny with that uh, the drum from the one in the car so I'm gonna have to pop the bearings out and uh, see what's going on in there Okay, here's the two drums. So the clear coated one on the left side, this is off the trailer. This is the one off the car. They are the same. I will say that the ones on the car, the bearings in there have got to be thousand kilometers max. And they're name brand bearings. I think they were either National, Timken or Fag or a combination of, of, of those, but they're name brand. The trailer, I, I can't even remember what I put in there, but like I say, they're tight. Um, washers, everything else are on there exactly the way it just came off the car. I don't run any brakes on the trailer, so they're a bit rough, but that's the way they look. And that's the way the car looks. So, I mean, aside from that, they look good. So I think what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna swap these around and I'll stick the ones that I know are good from the trailer. I'll stick them on the car. I'll see if that takes up any slack. And I'm gonna take the one that's got the slack. I'll put it on the trailer and I'll see whether or not if the spindle or anything else looks worn. Okay, just for fun, just for fun, I grabbed this one from uh, just a random drum I had lying around. I don't even know the last time this thing's been on a car. No idea the condition of the bearings, but I just put it on torque the center nut down and uh, it's actually totally tight too so I'm pretty confident now that whatever is going on is uh, is in the drums that I had on the car before here so I'm I don't know if it's that spacer or not but I'll have to I'll rip it apart and I'll swap some parts and I'll, I'll, I'll see what's going on here okay so I've got the drums on the bench now so I've got all three sitting here this one here is the trailer. This is the spare one I had from my kind of parts supply here. And this is the one from the car. So they look, I don't know, the same, but check this out. So this is that spacer I was talking about in there. And uh, it's good pitched in behind. This is the one from the trailer. This is the one from my uh, parts one here. This is the one for the car. Check this out. I can actually move that spacer around freely. And these other ones are just, they're, they're pinched in there pretty good in the bearings. I can't move them at all. So 
I'm guessing there's something is worn here with the spacer, the one in the car. And I'm willing to bet that the one on the uh, left side of the car is the same. Okay, and here's the front side of them. So again, this is the trailer. Um, I mean, it's it's in there. They're flush. They're all about the same. So it's not like one bearing is out farther than the other. I'm going to pop the seals off the back side. I do have a press, and I'll just make sure that it is firmly in place. Um, but um, I'm almost certain it is. I, I think there's something worn in that, that spacer, but I'll, uh, I'll know what to do. Okay, so I don't normally install these things with a press. Usually a good, uh, good hammer and these like-size sockets will make sure these things are seated. But just to avoid any arguments that the bearing's not seated right in the drum, put a little bit of pressure on it and I'll uh, just make sure they're all seated and see what that spacer does. Okay, so I put on the press, I put a little bit of pressure just to satisfy myself that it is seated, both the bearings, and look at this. I mean, that spacer is absolutely completely loose in there as opposed to the other ones which are I can't even I can't even move they're just pinched right in there like they're supposed to be so something's going on here I'll pop the bearing out and see what's going on in there okay so I pop the bearings out car one is on the right this is the parts one from the left, and that's the, the bearing spacers. They are pretty much the same, they look identical. I'm going to measure them just in the event that the one spacer is worn than the other with a micrometer. I've got there yet. Uh, I cleaned up the drums with brake clean, and I don't know. I mean, the one in the car looks fine. I don't see any cracks. I don't see any... Uh, Anything going on with any of the flanges or anything like that? It looks the same as the one that was in the, uh, the parts one that was tight. So I'll measure that next with the micrometer and I'll see if anything's worn with that. Okay, and as expected, the uh, bearings measure up the same. Um, made in Japan. This is a national, but uh, yeah, they're same with everything else. So not the issue with the bearing. I think I'm going to leave it apart for now, and if you guys got any ideas, let me know. I don't have anything I can measure tolerances in here with. Um, I don't know if it's the drum. I might. Well, I'm obviously going to try doing something else here. Maybe the drum, uh, I'll swap them out, but any ideas, let me know, and in the meantime, I'll uh, leave it apart. Okay, so I cleaned up the spacers, measured them. They are identical, um, 33 and a half millimeters. This is the one that came out of the car. And I mean, it looks fantastic. I don't see any issues with it at all. Um, in fact, it's even better shape than the one that came out of the one with the part hub here. It's got some odd nicks in it. People banging bearings out, probably me too. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's the same. So I don't see issues there. I'll measure the bearings next, but I say new bearings it should be an issue okay I just uh, I wanted to check one other thing here and that was the center bore of these things um, I checked it with the one on the car compared it to the one out of the one I had for parts they're the same um, no difference there um, test fitting it on the hub I took some brake clean to it just to see if there's any slop there they both fit tight um, I don't really see any issue or difference between the two and um, I don't have any way to check the taper necessarily inside of it, but uh, like I say, they, they look pretty much the same. I also wanted to check the uh, just the edges, just in the event that they were at a round or on an angle or worn funny and not, not seated against the bearing, but they look flat, they look square, um, they both look the same, so I don't see it the issue there either. Um, I, don't, I don't know. I don't know if the hub or the uh, drum is worn or off size or what. But so at 10:30 at night here anyway. Um, this I went way uh, deeper into this thing than what I was planning on tonight. So I'm gonna call it a night. Uh, I'll see what you guys think, and well, it's time for a beer.